This lesson is just going to talk about the language of probability and it's just the kind of language you might see in questions that relate to probability. Um, so yeah, things like, oh, you've got a 50-50 chance or an even chance or that's certainly the case. So we'll be looking at things like that. Um, most of you, I would imagine, will find this pretty straightforward. It's still a really um, important lesson. So let's give it a go. So let's write the title, learning goal. Um, so we're going to describe probabilities using mathematical terminology. So that's the key thing there. So make sure you write that down. Um, so pause it now. I'm going to go to the next slide. Okay, so what I need everybody to do is write these definitions down. And I'm going to give you an example of everything. Okay, so I'm going to go through every single one of them and just give an example. So the first one is sample space. Now, sample space is all possible outcomes. So for example, if I roll a die, the sample space of that, and look how I'm going to do it, is just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because a normal six-sided die, like the one you would use in Monopoly or things like that, um, it can land on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So that's what sample space is. If I said, what's the sample space of, say, I had a prize, um, I don't know, chocolate for the whole class, I mean, chocolate and one person could win it, the sample space would be everybody's name in the class because, so you would have to write everyone's name down. It wouldn't be numbers or something. In a coin, the sample space is heads, and tails for tossing one coin. So sample space is just all possible outcomes. Okay. So chance experiment is just a random experiment. For example, um, let's toss a coin. That's not how you spell coin. All right. So that's just a chance experiment. Let's toss a coin and see what comes up. Okay. The event of a chance happening is um, the, like, like you're picking an event of it. So if we look at the chance experiment before, it was like tossing a coin. So the chance of, what's the chance, um, e.g., what is the chance of getting heads, all right? So that, heads is what, is the event, all right? We're gonna to toss a coin. Um, let's see if we get a head, all right? So what are the probabilities of that? Or let's see if we get tails. What are the probabilities of that, okay? Now, probability, so I'm just gonna put lines through there. Probability is the chances of an event happening. So for example, what is the probability, and I'll talk about this later, of getting heads well, it's one out of two. So probability is like, oh, you've got a 50-50 chance, or it's one over two, like a half probability of getting heads, or it's a half probability of getting tails, or what is the probability of rolling a four when you roll a six-sided die? So that's what probability is. And trial is carrying out the experiment. Trial is like, all right, let's, let's throw three coins up in the air and see what happens. So trial is just the amount of the carrying out the experiment. I'm not going to write an example of that. And then the last one is equally likely outcomes. It's a situ situation with the same chance for all outcomes. The easiest one to do here is just tossing a coin. It's equally likely to get heads or is it equally likely to get tails? So just make sure um, um, So that would be an example of that. So make sure you write everything that's typed up in this um, page and then do some examples that will help you, okay? All right, so all probabilities can be described between zero and one. Okay. And I'm gonna put here in the middle, which is 50-50. Now, something that's zero is impossible. All right, and something that's one is certain. So something is 
that's impossible is that if I roll a six-sided die, can I get the number 13? No, that's impossible because the numbers on a six-sided die only go up to number six. So it doesn't matter how many times I roll it, it will never get 13 from one die. Okay, And there's a lot of things that are impossible. Um, so... For example, I'm recording this on a Friday. It's impossible that tomorrow will be Tuesday. It just won't. It's impossible that will occur. Okay? Something that's certain. The sun will rise tomorrow. Okay? Um, students will go to school at some point. Um, so things, things that are certain. Okay? It will... The... Anything that's certain, it's sort of like, is just something that is sure thing. It will get dark tonight. That's something is certain. All right. And then everything in life happens in between these two things, between impossible and certain. So here is 50-50, but we, all, we, we mainly call it even chance. All right. So in maths, we call that even chance. Something that's, that's even chance is tossing a coin. I've got an even chance of getting a heads or getting a tails. Now somewhere here and here we have what we have is likely and this is unlikely. Now we can even go even further and we can go very likely and here we can go further this way, and it's like very unlikely, okay? So there are a couple of things that become like very likely. So for example, in sport, there are some teams that are very likely to win when they play against other teams. Um, so it's not always even like even though there's two teams playing, it doesn't really happen. There are some things that are likely, so... Um, something that's likely that will happen is that students will complain about homework. Something that is unlikely is that students will celebrate when they've done their homework. So that's unlikely. They'll probably just go, oh, here it is, or things like that. But there are many things in life. Just think of anything. Um, I'm into sports, so there's a lot of teams that are likely to win over another one. And then if you change the question and you go, is this team um, likely to win? You go, no, that's unlikely. So think of all the things that you can do. Anyway, I think that's the end of this lesson. Make sure you write this down. All probabilities are described between 0 and 1. And off we go. Peace out.